female, female box turtle. Oh my goodness. That's a big female. Can put it back down. Okay. <coughs> I've seen her moving the uh, twigs. I think that is a sign. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, so next time you all I'll flip this up. I'll have yeah, I flip this one up also. Oh, okay. So we cleared that out last time we were down. Awesome. Okay. So I'll put two more right over there. Good deal. Sweet. And it'll be corrugated, but you'll remember next time you come back, I just remember two, two, and two. Awesome. Good deal. Pick it up, man. All right, here we go. Copperhead. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. First snake of the day. He's a mean one, dude. That's a nice one. <clears throat> well, we got, he's not blue, so we got something to get a picture of. You guys. filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Uh, let's see. Over there is some shade if you guys want to. Yeah, just step back yeah. towards that blind. Some pictures. Over. Yeah, it's, you want to check that other one? Sexually mature the next year. Uh, no, they uh, they they will take a number of years before they actually are. So that's why you know she's at least three or four. Mm-hmm. If she's grabbing, yeah. How many young ones she has? Uh, usually it's around. Eight to twelve. Uh, gosh, I would say. Mm, I'm gonna say five to eight. I would say. What this that size? Age, when they get older, they have more. Or is it... Yeah, yeah. The females don't get nearly as big as the males. But now like she'll. Uh, I mean, that's king snake food, right? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That big what, monster baby? king snake yeah. Yeah, well, and down here the probably size. eats these guys for breakfast. Good. That one, <laughs> that one big king snake we found down below. I wish we'd have measured him because he was a hoss. Yeah. But he tucked away on us. I got a good picture handling that day, but I didn't have a tape measure. How long? Uh, how long did you have to wait before you went back to find it? Oh, let's see here. What's that the long? next? Got a picture yet? So <laughs> Go ahead and let's go get in there. You get camera Smell room? like no, I'm in. Just like they settle say. with the. Uh, I, I know, honey, but that's thirty-five pounds. Nice female copperhead. That was last year. Definitely grabbed snake. I got some film and video, some pictures of a copperhead giving birth. She's gonna hit that came. I want to say it was either. The last weekend of the yeah, first so weekend of September or last nice weekend of August. Shot this way. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, the rattlesnakes. Really nice well, you want him to get out of your son or you want him in? Oh, am I in the right place or wrong place? <laughs> no, you're good. I'm just filming I'll, to film. I'll double you up there. <laughs> okay. Nice but I'm going to go ahead and, sure. I guess, let the snake go. Yeah. Yeah. Come grab Here, I got her. Uh, a lot of times in the spring, give birth in the fall. Will you take but my camera also, off my neck? Uh, they have a second root camera season. In the fall itself. You can put it inside and, my bag. And uh, rattlesnakes, though, their breeding season is right now all the way through. But you good with the snake? I yeah, yeah that's fine. You got her? It's and the, what they'll do is they will literally okay. just take their young all through the winter months. So they'll, 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 they'll get so I'll be careful with your fingers there. I'm watching. All right. All right. Where are you going to put it? I'm just going to choose right around here. Good place for her. Thank you, Alan. There's a little mouse in her nest. I wonder how long it's been out. It's been a while. You can tell the seeds are going to rip. It looks okay under there. Mm-hmm. The boards have been the best. It's not like they're forming out. Here, I'll down. Thank you. Look at you, man. Woo! We almost got you in the face. Here you go. Oh, well, now just <laughs> let him go. It's fine. He was in blue, Dustin. He's Dustin, fine. Dustin, you have come in incredible ways. Before you don't want to get bit by a snake. <laughs> you don't. You don't hit like five or six ah. times. <laughs> and actually, one of my very favorite milk snake pictures ever was in a situ. Right here, the beautiful red colored milk snake pulled up. Top of the rodent nest. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite did nice. So, but did he eat any? Uh, I don't know. I never touched it. It was a rare occasion. I never had to touch him. He was pulled up, he looked pretty plump. I suspect he's dead. He probably ate a bunch of nestlings. Milk snake. There it is. 
Well, you, well, I'll tell you what, that, yeah, go ahead and grab the medicine. All right. I'm not sure uh, if it's blue or... I believe it is in blue, but I think... Is it a duller colored one? Yeah, he's dull. i tell you what, I'll get pictures of this beast. Why not? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what, I think it's just a duller one. Um, he I might think... be a little bit blue, but I think he's coming out of it. Yeah, okay, well, score milk snake. That's not the one I had in mind, but... I'll hold on to him for a second. Okay. And uh, we'll get some pictures because we got more metal here, don't we? Yes. Yeah, I think he might be I think he's good right now. That'd be awful if he was. Oh, he looks, right he looks right like he's pretty close. Yeah. Well, you, you get I a free one? Oh, there yeah. you go. Perfect. That way he thinks we choose something else. Uh, Alright, see nobody. Yeah. I think this is like the first snake we've actually found here with you, Phil. Here's the milk snake that we found inside the clip before. He actually did shed out, but he actually had two sheds. One was stuck on him, and the other one, of course, came off pretty easily. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and release this guy. He's a pretty uh, neat-looking milk snake. Definitely not typical, but we're going to go ahead and release him. And I believe he was under this piece. Go in the metal, buddy. Go on. I'm trying to release him under the metal. There we go. He'll find his way. We were trying to cop my head over here the last time. Yeah, I think so. This is the, the best place in the park to cop it. I've seen them like all over, but I think you mark down the numbers. Yeah, the numbers are like the mama giving birth and all that kind of stuff. I got pictures of them copulating up here. Really? Oh yeah. There's one. Copperhead. Yep, copperhead. Uh, let's see if we can get that in situ. I don't think. Be chill there. On tongs, just in case. Okay, just in case, but you're gonna lose that hook. Yeah, be chill. Get that hook; it's gonna fall. My hook? Yep. Looks good. It's good. Oh, <laughs> yep. Little milk. That one, I think. Finally, though, huh, found yeah. something. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know if I've seen this little buddy before or not. Ah, hmm. I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to try to get a picture of it. it uh, eyes are clear. Mm -hmm. Belly's clear. I just think it's a darker snake. Yeah. So, okay, we got something to get a picture of. Finally. Nice, yeah. And I guess we could just go ahead and do that right now. You got your camera on your. Yeah, I got mine. Okay, I'll tell you what how's about so. Right here, son. Yeah. Oh. First snake of the day. Nice little milk snake. A little intergrade of a red and eastern. He is uh, in the late stages of being in shed. But we got a few uh, decent pictures. We're just going to put him back under his metal. Maybe find him whenever he's not in shed. He'd go in. There we go. Right here for food and peace. Mm -hmm. One time had a mama and babies under. Timber? Yep. 
She was actually a pretty good sized snake. And she was coiled up and had babies. <laughs> which I never would have thought it. Not that in small. this area. Uh -uh. Never found one under this piece. I found one like laying right next to it. Huh. And I also found one laying in front of it. A big male and then a grab a female oh. once. Some years apart. Hmm. Oh, copperhead. copperhead. Can you grab him? Yep. Got him. Okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, gosh, I want to get pictures. He looks nice and clean. I guess we should probably just pause here and go back to the place to photograph him. Okay. Yeah, Do you want to lift up a piece of metal and try it under this? Well, I'll tell you what. He'd probably shoot off pretty quick. Okay. He's All right. pretty, he's pretty, uh, pretty lively. Yeah, I'd say he'd probably get away. Looks like a little male to me. Yeah, I'm not as fast as I used to be. We get him up here, though. Okay. Uh, At least it's the second. Nice little copperhead. This looks to be a younger male. By the way, the tail is shaped. Really nice looking snake. Sorry if my phone's in the way. Oh, you're fine. I'm going to try to get this a little bit tighter. Alright. We're just going to put him right over here. And he'll find his way back. There he goes. Right there, in front of you. Pretty one, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was easier just to get with the hands. Yeah. Well, definitely want a picture you of this see guy. Him. You see another I'm one. Looking <laughs> this way, so I'm looking that way. Yeah, all right. That's, oh, a, that's a pretty one from yeah. up here. That one certainly isn't blue, is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> all right, good deal. Yeah, it's funny because I'm looking here, looking there, and it's right in front of me. <laughs> Only the ones in the field left? Yes. Alright. Including there's also a board. Okay.
shells. Okay, we got one here, two over there. We got some over there too. I got more than eight here. And there's a copperhead right there, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them? Yep. Which one's nicer? The one in the tongs. All right. Yeah. If you have your camera, you could probably get a picture of that one before it moves. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm kind of I won't worry it. about it. We can just get pictures of these two guys. My hand has this snake in it, and I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what I need is a better grip on this guy. Hold on. That's, that's a pretty snake, though. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty one. Numbers have gone up a little bit. Get a better grip. Probably should have brought a bucket. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, okay, because yeah, we got, got a few more, more. pieces. Let's well, see. do you have a? Well, she is gnawing on them tongs. <laughs> you see her? Oh yeah. It's a big one. Uh, did we get that one over there? Uh, yes. Okay, so we need to get this. Right there. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot more. But I will say this, the ones we have left, start posing the milk snake. Okay. She's inside this bag right here. Okay. Yeah, going to go ahead and release this second copperhead. There's actually uh, two under where this one was found. We got the nicer of the two and just left the other smaller one. We're just going to take this one and release him around where I released the other one. I think right here is good. Look at that. Really nice looking. Oh yeah, you're mad. Really nice close-up shot. Move him just a little bit more. Go on. There he goes. No, I'm going to go too far in there because that's where I released the other one. But nice. You getting that snake posed? Yeah, trying to. Uh, I mean, it's a nice looking snake, especially for this county. It's uh, not bad. Got a little bit of reddish color to it, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. This is the milk snake we found under the piece of metal. Nice little integrade. We just got done taking pictures of him and uh, the other copperhead that we found in the last clip. Really nice. This one's a, a lot better looking than the last one that we found. Uh, really nice orange to reddish color bands. Very pretty. But I'm just going to let him go over here. Well, we're not too far from the middle. And I'm sure he patrols this area quite often. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Racer. Racer, all right. Snake, anyhow. Yep. Let him go. On his way. 